What you're seeing here is some of the work that we've put into the entire platform for um, our automotive software suite, is we've also gone ahead and instrumented the kernel all the way up to the middleware, as well as the communication that occurs between processors. In this case, the M4 cores on the Jacinto 6 and the A15s. One of the things that tends to be challenging with infotainment systems is being able to get the graphics performance and the responsiveness that you need. Now, the, ch the technical issues may be in any part of it, the graphics driver, the UI framework, um, or a higher level application UI framework like Qt. In this case, what we've done is we've instrumented at all levels of the software stack to make the optimization process simpler. Here, you see the average frame rate that is being provided on the infotainment system. You also see what the latency is for the UI update as well as what is occurring within the system as we go through. We can see some spikes here and some red indications that show us the latency is greater than we want it to be. So we're able to zoom in to see what is actually occurring in the system when we see that our UI latency is not meeting our requirements. So as we zoom in, we can see the UI latency is high, but what is actually occurring in the entire application as that occurs? One thing we notice is that whenever the UI latency is bad, we're actually connecting to a database. And this was what occurred when we built this demonstration. So in order to address this issue, one of the fixes that we implemented was to separate the database query into a separate thread. And that then improved the UI latency instead of doing everything in one thread. Being able to visually analyze that through an instrumented stack, both from the AutoSAR as well as the Linux layers is something that mentors um, invested quite a lot in. And that's really to help our tier one and OEM customers meet the challenges they face.